Welcome to MS Research Australia's Research Report. I'm Dr. Hamish Campbell and in this series we explore the research that's going on in Australia and around the world. In this episode we talk to Dr. Yuan Zhou who is a geneticist from the University of Tasmania. He's busy exploring the differences in the sex chromosomes in MS and this is what he had to say about his work. IMSGC refers to International Multiple Sclerosis Genetic Consortium. It brings MS researchers around the world together through collaboration and synergy to make more rapid progress to fully understanding the etiology, pathogenesis, clinicals, and the response to treatment of MS. So our group in Hobart is a member of MSGC, and for the past few years, we have identified over 200 suspected genetic loci that contribute to MS risk. So genetic is a branch of biology concerned with the study of genes, genetic variation, and heritage. So MS is caused by the interplay of environmental factors and genetic factors. The susceptibility genetic risk genetics discovered for MS have largely implicated in the immunological processes. And the currently widely used MS treatment targeting these pathways have shown to reduce the frequency and the severity of relapses. However, these treatments are not sufficient to prevent disease progression in the long run and have a wide wide range of undesirable side effects. The reason for that is we still don't know much about genetic drivers of MS progression. So I will work with MSGC to develop a novel pipeline specially designed for sex chromosome. As most of the analysis methods are designed for autosome chromosomes and therefore the, the vast majority of genetic studies have either ignore the sex chromosome or analyze incorrectly. There are many challenges for sex chromosome. For example, female have two X chromosomes, while male only have one. So one of the female's X chromosome will render it inactivated. And how to develop a statistical model to deal with X inhibition is really challenging. And the researchers at Harvard Medical School and Broad Institute are the world leading scientists in statistical genetics by working close closely with them, we'll be able to address these questions. So why the prevalence of MS is much higher in female than male with a ratio of 3? And why female are more predisposed to relapse onset type of MS, while males are disposed to progressive onset? And these are significant outstanding research questions. So MS genetic risk genes discovered so far are all on autosome chromosome and failed to explain the genetic difference between females and males. So we hypothesis that the sex chromosome will explain the differences and that's why it's important to study them. So using the appropriate methods will enable a unique biologic perspective of MS etiology and progression by sex and potentially leading to personalize the novel points of intervention and treatment. Uh, that's a very good question. As I mentioned before, MS is caused by the interplay of environmental factors and genetic factors. So one of the risk environmental factors for MS including infection with EBV and HIV-6. So I'm leading the world's largest genetic studies to identify genetic drivers of differential immune response to EBV and HIV-6. So I will then develop novel methods with MSGC to examine the causal role of the virus infection and MS risk and progression. If the virus, uh, the role of virus infection and causal, the approaches aid, aid at controlling viral infection may become effective treatments or preventive strategy against MS in the near future. That's a brief overview of Dr. Scholl's work. Make sure you go to our website for more information and like us and follow us on social media to keep up to date. I'm Dr. Hamish Campbell and I'll see you next time.